Jerry of the Circus. Now for Jerry of the Circus. How you doing, Jerry? Okay, most through. Golly, seems like these horses are especially thirsty this morning. Going someplace? No, why? No, oh, don't know. Seems like the horses are usually much thirstier days when you've got something special to do. Yeah, I guess you're right, Whitey. As a matter of fact, I'd kind of promised Rags you'd go for a walk. Seems like you're pretty good to that dog of yours. Well, he's good to me, so we're even, aren't we, Rag? I haven't had much chance to take him walking with me. Golly, back there in Jackson City, we had so much business at the bank with my lawyer. Here, lady. Your, your lawyer? You sound like a big businessman. I may be one yet. You never can tell what's in that box my dad kept in that bank so long. Oh, don't count too much on it, Jerry. I'd hate to have you be disappointed. Oh, I won't be. Whatever it is, it's more than I thought I had. I know, but sometimes people keep things that don't mean a thing to outsiders, but mean a lot to them. Oh, well, how do you mean? Oh, well, you know, for instance, lots of mothers keep their baby's first shoes or a lock of the baby's hair. You mean as a keepsake? Yeah. Okay, lady, I'll, I'll get you some more. Say, she is thirsty. Well, but people don't keep keepsakes in safety deposit boxes. Why, sure they do. Lockets with pieces of hair in them. But I thought a box in the bank was just for money or, or bonds or papers or something. It's for most anything anybody's a mind to hide away. Just a second till I get this water turned off. I'm done. Gee, I, I never thought of that. It, it might be just something you always wanted to keep. Well, it might. Well, you see, Jerry, don't count on it too much. If it's something special, you'll be surprised. And if it don't mean nothing, then you won't mind so much. Yeah. Golly, it, it might be most anything. Might even be something Dad didn't want anyone else to see. That's true. Then I, I shouldn't open it if it's a secret. I, I wouldn't want to do anything Dad would rather I, I didn't. Well, now, don't you worry, Jerry. Your dad wasn't the kind of a person that would have anything he wouldn't want his son to know about. Yeah, I guess that's true, all right. Well, look out what you're doing. You're getting all wet. Oh, golly, I, I'll say I am. <laughs> guess I'd better keep my mind on what I'm doing if I'm going to make a good impression on my boss. Oh, don't you worry. You made a pretty good impression that first night. I did? How? Oh. Don't you remember the fire in the horse tent? Oh, I'll never forget it. Hey, any kid that can keep his head in an emergency and use it, and it's too valuable not to be kept around here. Did you hear that, Rag? Well, I guess you'll appreciate your man. Oh, so you appreciate me already, huh? Well, I got some work to do. I'll see you later, Jerry. Okay, I'll, I'll be through soon. I'll be back before the matinee. All right, I'll be seeing you then. Here you are, lady. Now drink to your heart's content. Or I should say until you can't walk anymore. Keep quiet, right? I'll be through in a minute and then we'll go. What's the matter with you? Say, that is funny. Sounds like something's wrong. Just a minute, lady. I'll, I'll be back. Here, I'll, I'll put this on the floor for you. Rags, stay here with me. Here, Rags. Good night. Look at that bull. Here, here, down, Rags. Stay here. She charged right into that soft drink stand. All those bottles and things. Where's open? Hey, Mike. Blast that bull. It ruined me stand. That's what she's done. Well, what happened? Well, I don't know. Myself. 
I just got here in time to see that bull go through me juice stand like it was paper. Oh, where's Olsen? Oh, there he is. And Jeff and Mike are right behind him with the bull hooks. Yeah, I guess that'll quiet her all right. Hey, look out. Here she comes. Right for the horse stand. Look out. The horse stand. He's crazy. Gertie. Jeff. Get her on the other ear. Here, right. Quick. Oh. They got her. Olsen's got her. Quick. Those chains. Oh. Here. That's it. Look, they're going to hop her with those chains. Well, that Olsen sure knows what to do, all right. I wish he'd done it before she ruined me business. That's Gertie, all right. I just wonder if Zeke had something to do with this. Zeke? Now, who is he? He helped with the canvas. He's gotten into trouble before with these elephants. Oh, yes, I remember. The men were talking about him. Well, they sure got her fast. Wonder what's wrong with her. Think it's safe to get near her now? Mm, probably, but I'm staying away. I'm taking no chances with an animal that can go through a house like it wasn't even there. Come on, Ray. Let's see if we can help. Hey, Olsen, can I do something? Oh, oh, it's you, Gary. Yeah, blamed if I can see what's wrong with her unless someone gave her poison. Sounds like she's hurt something awful. Well, then I guess she's gone bad, all right. No, she's not. Someone's been tampering with this bull. I'll bet my life on it, and I'm plenty sure I know who done it. Hey, Jeff, go get some... Olsen! Uh, look out there, Jerry. We'll get hit with that trunk of hers the way she's swinging it around. Something awful. Uh, she don't seem to know what she's doing. Look here, see? Oh, uh, what? Look around her eyes. Careful of that trunk. I don't see nothing. It looks like powder. Kind of brownish. Huh? And her eyes are, are awful funny. By golly, you're right, Jerry. Uh, say, quick with the hose, someone. Yeah, get that hose over here. Hey, before you wash it off, want me to save a little of it? Yes, I was just thinking of that. Here, give me your handkerchief. Here, yeah, right. here you are. Yeah, thanks. All right. Oh, careful there, Gertie. Hey, Olsen, be careful. You'll get killed. Oh, I won't either. Here, I got some of it. Here's a hose. All right, over here, boys. Turn it on around her face. Wash out her eyes hey, good. Boy. That's it. You see? That was it. Yeah. She's stopping crying. Poor devil. You just wait till I get my hands on the fellow that did this. There, that's it, Gertie. Yeah, that's good, boys. Yeah, that's enough. All right, turn it off, will you? Poor thing. Yeah. She just had something in her eyes. No wonder she went crazy. Yeah, I thought I was watching out for Gertie. Where were you? Well, for ten minutes I left while there was wor- uh, walking Gertie around the main top. Uh, say, Sam, was Zeke on the job this morning? Yeah, helping Murray on the main top. Uh-huh. I thought that was it. Well, I'm heading for that tent. You want to come, Jerry? You're in on this, too, after last night. Sure thing. Come on, Ray. What's that stuff on the handkerchief? Well, it looks to me like snuff. Snuff? Yep, snuff. And if I remember correctly, Zeke used to chew it. Of all the low-down stunts. Must burn pretty bad. Well, like fire. Poor Gertie. It's lucky she didn't kill someone blinded like that and frightened to death. Guess that what he was trying to do. Get Gertie in so much trouble, they'd have to kill her, huh? Why, sure, that's just what he was trying to do. Uh, uh, hey, Murray. Oh, what's on your mind, Olsen? You look like you've been in an earthquake. No, worse than that. Where's that guy, Zeke? Zeke? Yeah. Yeah, he was around here. He could be working over on that side. Hey, Zeke. Are you looking for Zeke? Yeah. Now, he lit out of here half hour ago. Said he was tired of working and was taking it under land. Running away? But, but so why? That's it. There's no question who done it now. Done what? Put snuff in Gertie's eyes. She went amuck over by the horse tents a little while ago. You don't see. Yes, I do say. See, I heard a lot of noise over there, but we were busy, so I didn't pay much attention. Yes, sir. Oh, say, you. Hey, do you know where Zeke was heading for? Sure. He caught that freighter that was loafing by here a while ago. That's right. There was a slow freight on the track. So he skipped town. Well, it's lucky for him. You know, I think if I could lay my hands on him oh, right gee, now... Oh, you shouldn't feel so bad. After all, Gertie's all right now. Yes. When I think of what might have happened, well, I guess I better go and explain this whole mess to Randall. What do you do about that soft drink stand she wrecked? Well, it's just one of the things the circus will have to make good. Uh, you want to come along? No, I guess Rags and I'll stay here and help Murray. Well, all right, Jerry. I'll see you later. Think I'll need some help? Well, you're shy one hand. Yeah, that's so. I guess I'll have to pick me up another one in this town. You want the job? Sure, I'd like it. Well, what about Whitey? Oh, that's right. I... I almost forgot about our horses. Well, I guess I'll have to get me a good husky fellow that can give me all his time and not be spending half of it with horses and trick dogs. Oh, and... quit kidding me. Really, can I help now? Sure you can. Walk around the lot and keep your eye out for any husky-looking men that look as if they might like a job. Sure, you bet I will. And if you find anyone, bring them right over to me. You bet. And I'll find you someone, too. Well, that's swell. And I'll be seeing you. Yep. 
Come on, Regs. We gotta go scouting for a husky looking guy that wants a job. <laughs> Let's walk on back and see what happened to Gertie. <laughs> All right. Do you want me? Yeah, I, I just wondered what you were gonna do about the soft drink stand of yours. Well, I'm just now heading for the phone. I got to order some things so I can get it fixed up. Was much stuff broken? Yeah, all the bottles in the place. Say, Gertie's feet went through those cases like they was eggs. Oh, gee, that's tough. Well, it's all part of the game. First accident I've had in years, so I guess maybe I've got me turn coming. But I wonder what got into her. A fella threw some snuff in her eyes. No. Yeah, it was all around her lid. Well, no wonder she went berserk. It was that Zeke I told you about. Olson and I went to check a few minutes ago, and it looks like he skipped the show. You don't say. Yeah, and now Murray's shorthanded, and I'm out looking for some strong fellow who might like a job at the circus. Well, say, there was a guy looking for a job. I heard him asking Jim Bennett at the office wagon not an hour ago for something to do. Really? I, I wonder if he's still around. Well, he was hanging around when that elephant went off her head. I saw him. What's he look like? Oh, nothing special. He had a cap pulled down over his head and face. It looked kind of pale. But he was a great big fella. Gee, wish I could find him. Well, say, there he is now, over there talking to Whitey. Yeah, he must be asking him for a job. Gee, thanks, Mike. I'll, I'll see. He looks like a big enough. If he's kind of white and peaky, though. <laughs> well, they all get fat and healthy looking after they've been with this outfit for a while. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I'll be seeing you. Okay, so Jerry. And say, uh, when I get set up again, uh, come on over and have a bottle of pop on the house, will really? you? Really? Say, thanks. I'll, I'll be there. Come on, Reg. We got a big day ahead. <laughs> Gee, we're in luck finding someone so easy. <laughs> well, it looks like he might do all right. Oh, Mike's right, and you really want the job. Hi there, Whitey. Uh, hello there, Jerry. Hey, I didn't expect to see you again till after lunch. <laughs> what about that walk? Well, guess we kind of got sidetracked with all the excitement with Gertie. Did you see it? Uh, nope. I just got back in time to see him sweeping up the bottles to Mike's stand. Uh, sorry, Bo, but I guess I can't help you none. I got all the hands we can use now. Excuse me for buttoning in, but are you looking for a job? Yeah. Uh, I guess it's not my lucky day, though. Well, the boss canvasman just sent me out scouting for an extra man. He's got a job over there for someone who's not afraid to work. You don't say. Yeah. Want to meet him? <laughs> I sure do. Well, I'm still walking, Whitey. Back after lunch. Okay, Jerry. Is this your dog? Yeah. Ain't he a beaut? Good friends, dogs. You can trust them. You bet you can. Yeah, I guess I traveled around too much to ever have one. I like them, though. Say, hey, thanks, kid, for telling me about the job. Oh, that's nothing. Glad to do Murray a favor. Hope you'll do. Yeah, so do I. I need it plenty bad, and I'm willing to work, too. <laughs>